whether you're prototyping, moving from custom embedded system design, or used to using programmable logic controllers, the LabVIEW development environment can help you get your next control and monitoring project done faster, saving you time and money. For example, behind me, I've got a smart grid analyzer that's running a LabVIEW built application to do monitoring of the power grid. Another example in front of me is this embedded system, standalone embedded system, that's running a LabVIEW application for control. If we look at that control code in LabVIEW, you'll notice inside of it that we're not only using it for the control logic in the upper loop, but also that we're using it for the user interface design, system health monitoring, as well as the data logging functionality. Because of this flexibility of LabVIEW to do both the simple and advanced tasks, you can design your entire system using one tool. To help you design your system more efficiently, LabVIEW includes hundreds of pre-written libraries for control, analysis, logging, reporting, and many other common functions. If you have your own application-specific IP that you want to import, LabVIEW supports uh, importing ANSI C, VHDL, .m files, and others. For our control application, let's actually look at a .m file. So in order to augment our control, we're going to right-click, go to Import, and bring our .m file directly into the project. This is all possible by pairing LabVIEW with NI's embedded system hardware called Compact Rio. A Compact Rio device includes a floating point processor, an FPGA, as well as over 100 different I.O. modules to select from for your project. By adopting NI's platform approach, you can easily add, reconfigure your hardware during the prototyping phase, reuse your hardware across multiple projects, and deploy your final LabVIEW code either to a rugged or board level target. To find out more information, visit the Additional Resources section of the LabVIEW for Designing Embedded Control and Monitoring Systems.